Hello, in this third video we're going to continue our knowledge of slope to actually involve calculations from points, either points drawn on a graph or, or just ordered pairs. As you'll recall, the definition of slope is rise over run. Now this is more of an informal kind of an English concept definition. People can think about rising up and then running to the right, but it's very important you understand how to calculate with these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to translate this concept of rise and run into something that we can do some math with. So rise over run really means changing our y values. When you go up, you are changing your y value. And then when we go to the right, when we run, we are changing our x value. So slope is change in y over change in x. And this can be rewritten with these triangle symbols pronounced delta. So again, slope is rise over run, which means change in y over change in x, or slope is delta y over delta x. The triangle delta means change in. So let's take a look uh, more continuously. If I start with $3 and I now have $7, what's the math? Well, you start with the second value and you subtract the first value. We do 7 minus 3 equals 4. Start with 3, end up with 7. I have a delta, or a change, of 4. And 4 is a positive number. I gained money. So our delta is 4. Likewise, when we're doing calculations with slope, we're going to be talking about x and y values. So if we were to start at x, 1, and go to x, 2, 1 being the x value of the first point, 2 talking about the x value of the second point, again, what, what's the calculation? You start with the second value and you subtract the first value. Just like 3 to 7, we did 7 minus 3. 1 to 2, we do 2 minus 1. x2 minus x1, and this is also called delta x. Now again, our slope is defined as delta y over delta x. So, we've just figured out what delta x is, we can extend the knowledge to delta y. Slope is rise over run, delta y over delta x. And again, to find your delta, you take the second value and you subtract the first value. So this is our change in y values, y2 minus y1. This is our change in x values, x2 minus x1. We're going to be using this formula several times on the next sheet. So let's try some examples. Here is a graph. I've got two points that have been graphed here, and I need to figure out what my slope is. And again, just to be clear about this, I, I could count, because it's graphed, I could just say rise 2, run 1, 2, 3, 4. I could say rise 2, run 4, or a slope of 1 half. But that's just looking at a graph. Most of the time, you won't be looking at a graph. You'll actually be dealing with numbers. So let's figure out how this plays out dealing with values. Here, my y value is 3. And here, my y value is 5. So I'm really going from 3 to 5, or my change in y, my delta y, is 5 minus 3, or 2. Likewise, I can take a look at the x values. My initial x value was 1. My initial, or my last x value was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what's my delta x? My delta x is 4. I'm just trying to show you how the formula gets derived. Let's actually use the formula now. Slope formula is defined as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. My y2, my second y value, is 5. My initial y value was 3. My second y value, my x value was 5. My initial x value was 1. So doing the calculation, 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 1 is 4. And again, 2 fourths reduces to a slope of 1 half. So if you eliminate all this other talk, basically this is the formula, and it's very easy to calculate. However, we took the long way around because we started with a graph. If you start with a graph, you just count, and you get a slope of one-half very quickly. But you won't always have a graph. 
as shown by the next example. In this example, we're asked to find the slope of a line passing through these points. And don't waste time making a graph. Just use the formula for slope. Slope is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So y2, the second point's y value, which is 9, minus y1. Now be careful here. This is a negative 1. 9 minus negative 1. Again, my second, second point's x value, negative 2, minus the first point, the first point's x value. Now let's do the math. 9 minus negative 1 is a positive 10. These cross, we get a 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. And negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5. So this simplifies to a negative 2. Final answer for my slope. That's it.